Hey everybody, Todd here, and welcome back to another Wellness Talks. While there's often a lot of talk out there about how technology, YouTube and Facebook and social media and on your phones and cable and everything streaming at you is so negative and not useful, we often don't take time to look at how this technology may actually be benefiting us or could benefit us. And what I'm gonna be reviewing today is something you can put right on your phone. I've reviewed a couple other apps in the past, usually clumping them together, and I'm gonna come back to them. I'm gonna do updates on those later on. So don't forget to subscribe to catch those reviews. But for today's piece, I'm actually going to focus on a application called Yours. This is a newer company. They reached out to me at the beginning of the year and asked me if I'd be willing to try their product and if I liked it to go ahead and put something together talking about their application, good or bad. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just a quick disclosure that they did give me one year to try this. I've been playing around with this again since January, so about three months now, so I can give you a pretty good overview of what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But I wanted to give you a heads up that I did get something out of it. And I do have an offer for you being passed along via them where you can actually try this at a severely reduced price. I think it was 60% off. And again, if you do decide to use that particular link, I'm getting something for that. Although I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Anything like this before, but I figured, you know, it's worth, if they really want me to take a look at it that much, then I will go ahead and do so. I did, and here's my overview. Now, their tag is pretty much yours, mindfulness made easy. But there is a lot more inside of this app than just mindfulness. They're a European-based company, and one of the things that was mentioned is that during the whole COVID pandemic, they were actually giving away this application to those people in health and human services. So to help the people on the front lines trying to help everybody else. So that says something. And they also sent me a quick overview, taking a better look at what their core values are, what it is that they are focused on doing. And as you also might know, checking out my channel, there are a ton of different conversations dealing with values, including several playlists on how to find yours and how important they are. So having a company like this, which is going ahead and putting their values out there for us all to see is also important. So here, here are the big six. Trying to be socially responsible, making sure that this is easily accessible and that, that everybody has access to this type of thing. Diversity and inclusion, so also just making sure that they can reach as many people as they possibly can. They're trying to keep that in mind and they're focusing on your wellness, which is the main crux of the app is giving you these different tools. And of course, there's all kinds of research that shows if you can do the breathing exercises, if you can do mindfulness meditation, if you can have access to up-to-date and accurate information that will improve the quality of life. And that's what they aim to do with this app. And I do have to say, there's a lot of creativity and ingenuity inside of this, and there are beautiful pieces, as I'll show you. And then finally, there is a heavy focus on the mindfulness component, whether it's doing mindfulness with the little bell chimes, following your breath, following along with somebody actually doing it, they get into this pretty heavily. And they are trying to create a safe haven, a place that you can actually take a moment in your car, on a break, right at your fingertips, right when you need it. Four major components of this application would be focusing on your sleep and the body, giving you different things that you can do meditation-wise, whether it be actual classes or yoga or mixture or just sometimes music to listen to. And of course, focusing heavily on psychological concepts like you find here on this channel. One of the things I liked about this app is it kind of is, if I was going to build an app, it would look probably a lot like this, except that I don't have the time and the energy or the capacity to do what the company yours did. Now, of particular note are these five components that are built into the yours application. My favorite by far was the breathing clock and techniques. The breathing clocks are really, really cool. I've tried to build that into some of the videos that I do, but this, I, I really liked that particular feature. That is the thing that I found myself using quite a bit, and that would be something that I would recommend. Now there's other apps out there. It's not the only reason to grab this app, but it's a strong component in this particular presentation or application. Next is a mood calendar, an actual way to track the, the personal diary. 
so you can see how you felt keeping track of that journey. Oftentimes when I'm working with my patients, I really like them to take data because what often happens is that somebody will come in, they'll, they'll give me a, a statement like, I feel down all the time. I feel anxious all the time. And when I have them actually use a log just to keep track of what are your emotional patterns like, they realize that what they were believing, what the thought was, that strong thought that they were hooked by, is that I am anxious or I am depressed all the time. When in reality, they weren't. So what's cool about this app is this is a place for you to actually keep track of that data. So you don't have to carry around a sheet of paper and keep marking it down and really get to know, become aware of how your patterns are and what might be affecting you in that moment. Now the next feature that they have inside of here, and this is one place where it's kind of like, eh, maybe this is good, maybe not, are the life lessons. There are advice and personal stories shared by a well-known public figure. Now, maybe they're well-known in Europe, but I was not familiar with any of these people, but it's not that they didn't have good stuff. It's just they're touting that as a big selling point of this particular app, and eh, I don't know who these people are. But regardless, some of the folks that are on here are definitely worth the time listening to. They're very similar topics to what I actually offer here on, on Wellness Talks. And then included are a whole different series of sounds. Music, classical music, soundscapes, birds, water, ocean soundscapes, ocean soundscapes with somebody walking you through a, a guided meditation. A pretty good combination of these things to help you to focus and to relax during the day and getting you ready to go to bed. So things that you can do at nighttime to kind of unwind and get ready to get a good night's sleep. And of course, they are focused on other specialty content for expecting a new moms, children's, and the LGBTQ plus community. So they've really done a nice job of trying to cover all the bases and to include everybody. And in a way, trying to cover everybody, making such a robust component, one of the down sides of this application was there was so much in there that I really didn't go and pick too deeply into any of the other areas, especially if it didn't interest me. There is a heavy emphasis on mental health, the psychology and meditation. They combine those two things together. This particular woman, Dr. Meg Aro, got some very good points, very similar again to what I like to try to offer here as well. And it's very clean, very concise and very to the point. Now they've got an entire section in here aimed at the body and they're dealing a lot with yoga and just getting moving, the physiological components, um, stretching, mindful movement exercises. It's good if this is something that you're into. And as you know, keeping that body moving, having a place to actually relieve your stress. These are key elements to staying healthy and also ways to actually increase your energy levels overall. So that's built into this app. So inside of here, there's an entire library dedicated to getting you ready and helping you to fall asleep, to fall back asleep, concepts surrounding sleep. They're really focused heavily on helping you to address that. A whole section dedicated to sound, music and soundscapes. While this is a nice feature and it kind of rounds out the app, meh, might be worth the time. You might find something on here that you like but I would imagine at this point, you probably have a, a good playlist. Although I don't know that rocking out to whatever your favorite artist is, is exactly kind of what, the, what they're after, after here. These are much more neutral, they're softer, they're calming, and they're kind of cliche. So take it with a grain of salt. Although when I was first getting started, having something in the background just to kind of hold the space is not a bad idea. And it's built in, it's part of this application. And you can see here, great video quality, and you can jump online and learn more about it at yoursapp.com. After playing around with this for three months, at first I was a little bit excited. I'm like, oh, this looks like it might be something that I would recommend out often. And I, I can't quite say that I would. I, I would say that if you have something out there and it's just not doing it for you, this would be a great alternative. If you have, don't have all the components. So part of the reason I wasn't attracted to this as much myself, didn't use it as much myself, is because I already have other apps that I'm already familiar with and that I'm already playing with. But if you were just getting started, this would be a good introduction. 
and it does have the accountability measure to it, especially if you use that log. I really, like I said, I really loved the breathing feature and I really loved the log. And I guess one of the benefits of this application is taking a very good idea, the, the breathing component, and it's giving you the mindfulness to help you to walk through it. And it's giving you, so if you want to consolidate down into one, yeah, then I, that's something I would play around with. The other thing I've noticed too about any of the different apps that are out there is that they kind of lose their, their luster after a while. Even Downward Dog, the, the yoga app that I used, I used to use that all the time. But once I've actually developed a routine, I don't really use it that much anymore. And some of the stuff on here is just incredibly cliche. It's the, the breathy, long, drawn out senses slowing everything down as we're one with the universe. Eh, not really in my cup of tea. Um, not that I won't or haven't done or listened to things like that, but I would rather just have something. It can be slower, it can be calmer, but we don't necessarily need to have the drama behind it. And to wrap this up, if I was to rank this, uh, one, this is a terrible app, you shouldn't utilize it, to 10, this is an amazing app, you should absolutely go out and give it a shot. I would say it's like a 6.5 or a 7. Just a lot of features on there that we don't really need, a lot of features on there that are a little cliche, some really, really good concepts, and I hope that they, they take this review to heart and we're able to focus in on that. Or maybe they know their, their audience better and this is the perfect app for them. But from what I do with mindfulness and the application and putting things in place, it almost seems like too much. It's pretty broad and I'm sure they can make it work and they're doing a great job and they're newer. So I would be not be surprised at all if they start to cut out some of the things or minimize some of the things that don't work as well. But again, if I had to go and give them a ranking, it would be about a seven out of 10 because it's, it's something that's nice to have in your pocket, but it's not something that compelled me to want to go back often. And in fact, past a couple weeks, past two weeks, I know that I, the only reason I've gone back is to just review some of the notes that I had given myself so that I could give you a review. If you can, just hit that like button, subscribe if you'd like to get more things like this. And if you want to take advantage of that discount, there's a link below. I hope you found this review useful. And if you'd like to see a couple other videos that I've reviewed that'll go along with this one, you should just check out this one right here. Um, it's an older one, but it does go into three of the other apps that I, that I had originally reviewed that might expand upon this. And until the next time, may you be well.